Hello and welcome to the decaf podcast number two. Today we are sitting in the Camberwell alleys of Camberwell. <laughs> the Camberwell alleys of Camberwell. Yes. Yeah. Uh, amongst our usual surroundings of chairs that we found in the alley yeah. and some bins. Yep, and some bins and our pineapple socks on the mics, which that, that came Josh, straight off my feet. <laughs> Josh definitely just uh, definitely just took off. Yeah. Mm, not good. Not good. Yes. Okay. That's awful. So, what we're going to do is we have our friend. Our good friend. Good friend, yes. Do you want to introduce him? Photo Dude NZ. Bring it in. Bring it in, Matthew. Yeah, Bring on it in. in. Come on in. Woo! There we go. Oh, Josh's stinky sock. Josh's stinky sock. <sighs> Hello. Hi. How are you going? How good was that person that just walked through? <laughs> I hope I she know. wasn't offended. <laughs> offended. Offended. No, we didn't impede her walk. Yeah. But we we did discuss that uh, there'd be a few a few cyclists or mm. uh, yeah a few people coming through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Security guard. You're holding the mic off around the wrong side. Higher? No, no, you're holding the mic around the wrong way. Around the wrong there way. There you go. That's you want it that way? Yeah, that way. Okay. Yeah. All right. You said. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. We got there. I didn't <laughs> listen. I was listening. No, that's all right. <laughs> no, you're a bit starstruck by. Yeah. Uh, mm. I know. It's the production. <laughs> There's a lot going on. All these people behind the scenes. Yes. Yeah, because you definitely didn't just press record and then. <laughs> no, no. I had no. That, the di- director of photography yeah, did that. The DOP. Cinematographer. Yeah. They, they were fighting over who <laughs> was going to do it. Oh god. Yeah, we set up all the lighting around here. You know, the sun. Yeah. Yep. Get this building to block the light. Yeah. 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 So this is the real decaf experience. It is. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It's something special. But you're both. I'm the only one here who's decaffeinated. You both are caffeinated. Yeah, we both, we both are caffeinated yeah. today. Actually, I might grab mine. Yeah, okay, g- grab your coffee. <laughs> grab your coffee. No, I think mine's mine's done. It's a bit too cold now. <laughs> that was uh That's Josh. Public littering yeah. on camera. Yeah, that's Josh. We'll put it we'll put it in the bin later. Camberwell Council take note. Yeah, we'll put it in the bin later. <laughs> the, the police will be after us again. They don't, they don't like us here in Camberwell. Where did we meet Matthew and Joseph? Where did we meet? Do you know it, wasn't, it wasn't down a dark alley, that's for no. sure. No, I think we met. We met at your your previous job. Yes, your previous employer. Yes, we're uh, at the uh, at the Photoshop. At the Q. Photoshop in Q. Yeah, and that would have been how long ago? A little while ago. Two or three years. Yeah, 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 yeah. You used, you used to have the world's longest email address. Yes, and we used to give <laughs> yeah. you shit about it. Yeah, I definitely copped a lot of shit to your one. face oh. and behind your back. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> I didn't know about that. Like, why doesn't he get a shorter? <laughs> Uh, excuse me. I was going to get a shorter bleep email. Yes. Yeah. Well, I would always talk about it as well. I'd mm. be like, "Yeah, it's me." Yeah. So it, it made you. It made you memorable. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, not memorable. It made you more memorable. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then I think at some stage, um, I plugged that we had a channel, and then I may have been coming in with Josh a few times. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you said. I think you mentioned to one of my colleagues that you had a YouTube channel, and I looked at it on my lunch break. And okay. Yeah, there were some laughs. Some laughs with you, laughing with yeah, you. Yeah, with you right. and, yeah. At, and, and at and that. Yeah, that's. There's a kind of this guy's a long name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's funny because yeah. it's not even like it's not even like a you know Alex Rocks you know the best best best. No, it's just it's just your name. Yeah. <laughs> it is just Alexander my email. Harris Papadopoulos. So that's your. Everyone knows my email now. Yeah. Yeah. I- Redacted. All right, now they know my email. <laughs> <laughs> now they know my email. I'm, there, I'm sure there are a few dots in between send, the names. Send nudes. So yeah, now, send now they, now send nudes. Send me, send me your high-res scans. And <laughs> I'll put them on the decaf Instagram yeah. account. Send, send us nudes, but only on film. Ooh, <laughs> challenge. Nudes on film. Right, challenge accepted. And I remember, I remember that, oh, I remember that we did a uh, a bit of an abstract video. Yes. And I remember you came through. Uh, my work and I, I asked you about it or yeah. you, I gave, you updated me and you said yeah the panda one was a bit strange yeah <laughs> I liked it I like a bit of you know I like a bit of weird stuff yeah so, yeah, yeah that, that, stuff. that one was like straight out of my brain yeah it's just, um, yeah. That's just that's just that's a brain child yeah, a brain couple, brain of, yeah. couple of dudes wandering around Box Hill one of them's wearing a panda suit <laughs> doing some dance moves yeah some you know why not why not and yeah something. any other suburb it would be weird yeah but Box Hill it makes sense <laughs> it's fine yeah and we yeah. still we still have to find that panda thing he, he, he was there for one night and he was he was gone the next day it was like couldn't find him again Oh, and it was like, yeah. I think he said something like shoot film or something. Shoot film? <laughs> yeah. And then he buggered off. Yeah. yeah. 
I, I, really can, I, can, I get on board with that mentality yeah. though. Yeah. Like, I, I could I could hang with Panda Guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 I mean, you're you're a, you're very uh, strong in the shoot film community. Yes. yes. Are you not? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty strong. And how long have you been part of this? Uh, um, shooting film uh, started in 1998. Uh, 98. Yeah. I mean, everyone in the 80s and the 90s, everyone shot film. Yeah. But uh, yeah, 98 was when I was basically handed my first film camera. First film camera? And what uh, was that? It was a Canon EOS 500N. So like the entry level SLR. Wow. And, That's a uh, throwback. <laughs> <laughs> this is a modern camera. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I was handed this camera by my boss and gave me a couple of rolls of Riala and said, use this. And I went, okay. And I shot with it and... Um, yeah, and that's from, how. Uh, from there, you just yeah, you um, expanded, yeah. And yes. expanded and expanded. Got wider. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Got wider. No, I was already word, pretty the word, wide. The, the word I was looking for was like I was trying to say flowered, but flowered isn't it? Flowered. No, no, it was um. I bloomed. Bloomed. Okay, see, we're on the same page <laughs> okay. to some extent. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh yeah. yeah, that's where the obsession began. Yeah. 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 The obsession. Yeah. 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 I guess you're. Yeah, you got deflowered with film, like. You know, I guess you could say that. <laughs> in 1998. Yeah, 1998. Were you born? Uh, not to make you, you feel old, then, I was Josh? one years old no. when, when you got your first film camera. Baby Josh. Baby Josh. Yeah. I mean, well, you were two. <laughs> I mean, like, it's not like you I was two. Yes. Baby Alex. I well. was two. Yeah, you're still doing yeah. things in your nappies. Yeah. 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 Or, or not in the nappies, <laughs> you know, whichever way you want to go about it. Yeah, why not? Actually, and then a few years after that, I started shooting with uh, Polaroid iZone. Oh, jeez. Polaroid iZone. Yeah. Do, you, do you have memories of Polaroid iZone? Yeah, I used to sell it. Yeah? I used to sell it in the first um, photo lab I worked in. Wow. Those, the iZone cameras, which were kind of chunky and colourful. They're really long. Yeah. They're really long. Yeah, and thing. the tiny little photos that came <laughs> out. And yeah, I used, to sp- I used to spend a lot of time talking people out of buying them. Oh. Yeah, like, oh, tell me about this iZone. No? <laughs> no. No? Yeah. Don't give us your money. So, no. so what what is uh what is it about the iZone that perhaps you know what what is it about a an actual like um, the same dimensions as as a thirty five mil negative yeah uh, but an actual photo mm. uh, an instant film what's they wrong with that they weren't very good and you only got I mean it's the same with all Polaroid you only got one copy but it was yeah. just essentially like a almost like an inkjet print like it was awful yeah and it was on paper so there was no longevity. And in fact, I, and I even I thought at that at that time, there's going to be no longevity with this. And then a few years ago, someone actually gave me an iZone print to restore, and I was like, hmm, okay, that's a lovely shade of blue. Oh, I had it. <laughs> yeah, all, all the color had gone out, and blue was the only one left. Just like you know, you see a poster in a shop window. Yeah, it's and then it's all faded. Yeah, really, yeah, it's just gone. Yeah, someone's wow. memory. That's very unfortunate. It is. That's very unfortunate. That's the price you pay for instant photography, unfortunately. Yeah. And do you think like... Okay, so just say I have a, a handful of iZone film at home yeah. that I have shot. I have some photos. Theoretically. Theoretically in some other yeah. other world. Yeah. Not this one. Yeah. Please, um, di- please digitize them yeah. as soon as possible. Okay. Yeah. All right. So nudge, yeah. nudge. I should do that. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any of that? Did you ever shoot iZone? No, I never shot iZone. I didn't even know what iZone was until you told me. Okay. No, you didn't know, did you? No. It was kind of like... It's like a toy. Instagram, oh. but the late 90s version of... Because you got to see it straight away. Yeah, and like, it came out... And you could it, put it somewhere where people would see it, like on the folder of your school book or <laughs> cover of your school And book it came out, it kind of looked like... Uh, oh, it came out, it, at the front of it had like this little curved... Um, I don't know how to describe paper. Yeah. And then it had the image in the middle, and then the back was kind of like that same curve, but it was cut out of the yeah. end part, and it kind of looked like a fish. Okay. I don't know how to describe it, <coughs> or a sperm. All right, okay. forget about the sperm. We'll say fish. <laughs> or tadpole. <laughs> tadpole. Yeah, that's it. I that's don't what think I ever operated one. No. No. Okay. So so I'm not familiar with about. that. Was it yeah. like a peel apart? Was no. It something you peeled off? No, oh, that, literally. It had an adhesive back. It did. Yeah. I can't look. I can't remember for the life of me. I was so right. You were too. Yeah, I yeah. was so little. It was a long time ago. <laughs> it was a long <laughs> time too. ago. It was, I was so little. Yeah. yeah. But I do have a lot of good 
like I took a lot of good memories. I still have them. I yeah. can't say they've gone blue yet, but yeah. okay. I'll have to make sure they don't go blue. Yeah, just <laughs> dig them out and Skin. even just take some photos of them. Yeah. Hmm. yeah it's like Polaroid. Just take, people just take photos of the Polaroid pictures. When oh, I love that. Yeah? yeah? <laughs> no, <it's> like, <laughs> no, I hate it. <laughs> people take a Polaroid, then they, they take, take a, photo a photo of it, and then it goes on Instagram. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did that cost you? Yeah, take, take it it cost you five dollars for one photo. <laughs> so you're saying it's not worth it? Cut out the middleman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the, I'm just imagining all the, uh, the the comments under this video. Like, well, you Polaroid what hater. You? Polaroid hater. <laughs> Yeah, impossible project hater. Yeah. Oh, but you are a hater of something, though. I hate everything. <laughs> okay. It's a hater of uh, our biggest brand. You know, our biggest sponsorship, Fuji. We don't get sponsored. By I don't way. hate them. <laughs> You're not a hater. You're not a hater. I'm not a hater, but I'm 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 realistic about what is what Fuji's doing. Yeah. You know, they um, What is that? <laughs> <laughs> they're getting out of the film biz. It's a theory. Out of the film biz. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. Well, they're already pulling out, already. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, they it's, are. But it's dis- on the way out. Discontinuation. Yeah. Discontinuation. Yeah, there are uh, there are parallels between. And I reckon you're going to ask me this question. There are parallels between what Fuji is happening with Fuji now and what happened with Agfa uh, in 2004. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, they just you know, they slowly take like. Yeah, they just. Yeah. Not really used Shif- film. Shifting. Yeah. Shifting. Shift their the focus. Into uh, completely digital? Yeah, I re- yeah. yeah. I think it makes sense, though. Yeah. Like, it's a well, digital inst- world. Instax. Like, I, it just sucks. I heard through the grapevine... Through the grapevine. ...that um, they had to make a decision a few years ago whether they um, can... Because uh, they were making Instax, they couldn't keep up with demand, and they had to make a decision whether they continue uh, making Instax the way they are and paper because they make paper for photo labs and stuff um, or they convert some of their equipment or deconstruct it or whatever to shift into Instax and I believe they shifted some of their machinery that does the photosensitive stuff into the Instax really? Well, I mean, it's still photosensitive but it's just a different different product really? yeah Yeah. okay so that kind of signals a bit of a yeah and when, and when, you're, in, when you're in a photo lab you notice things about the paper which indicate that they're probably not making as much as they used to. Uh, like once upon a time, getting a, uh, a splice in the paper was a very rare event. So, you know, one big roll of paper has ended yeah. and they haven't filled up the amount of feet that are required on a roll okay. for, the, for the lab and they have to attach another bit of paper to it. And they put a bit of tape there and they kind of like use this crimping machine okay and i was seeing them more and more often recently yeah yeah okay which means they've changed something in the production of their paper and so they're probably making smaller yeah smaller ones smaller so less yeah. so cutting costs a little bit yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and you know they'd be probably making way more inkjet paper for their inkjet based labs yeah than they would be uh photosensitive so i guess that's a bit of a sign of a bit of a example of where they might be going you know, um, I don't like to hear that though. Yeah, personally. But, you know, but hopefully, you know, Kodak and Ilford will pick up the slack. Or there'll be other brands, maybe. Yeah, well, there's lots of little film yeah. makers now. Yeah, popping up. Some of them are just rebadged films from other manufacturers, but some of them are, you know, new products. Yeah. Do you think that film is? Like I know it's been spoken about. Do you think film is? I secretly want her to walk down here. Yeah. <laughs> And a little old lady just that walking past. That would have just been the best minute, <laughs> or the best two minutes best ever. Five, five minutes. Walking oh, through the scene. We just like watch her. <laughs> <laughs> she goes <laughs> all the way down the yeah. alley. Oh Love the podcast. Done. <laughs> she did. She oh. did have a bit of a sus, a bit of a look over before. But did she? She's a bit intimidated, I believe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> also, we may hear some trains in the background because we are we near, are a, train near station. a train station. So I don't know if that's going to be a recurring theme, motif. In our public transport. podcast, public transport. you gotta do some tr- trams next time. I reckon yeah. we should be on the tram. Get some flange squeal going on. <laughs> How's it go? Flange squeal. <laughs> yeah, you want to give us a. Oh really, no, that, I mean, no, you really good. That's when the tram goes around a corner and the yeah. wheels rub against the tracks. It makes. I, that I would noise. still like to hear. A I can't do the noise, but I can do a train. Can you do a train? Oh, yeah. Do a train one. Ah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, that was terrible. Yeah, that was, yeah, you did really good ones, like down the alley. That was more like a, that a monkey. That was a penguin. <laughs> what was that? <clears throat> I'll try again. Right. Put me on the spot. 
be ready for Matt's famous train noises and please record this and you can use it for your own films or <coughs> huh. that was that was <laughs> getting quite, that was getting quite accurate yeah, yeah. Okay. I reckon it was quite accurate yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you hear that? That was quite similar. Yeah, that was me. They're calling back. <laughs> yeah. I hope mean, I haven't done a mating call. Wait. That's going to get awkward. You could change your, your name to Train Whisperer. Train Whisperer. You could do that. Train Whisperer. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's even better. Yeah, I'm getting... Yeah, I'm yeah. warming up. You're the, warming up. The phlegm's <laughs> yeah. dissipating. Oh my God. What are we talking about? This is exact opposite of ASMR. <laughs> is, that a, is, that, is that what it's That's called? It yeah, ASMR? Called. This, if you want to wake yeah. up, this is what you listen to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing the sounds. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I'm That's just going to I'm going to rub the microphone on my forehead. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's your dirty sock. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> you just check an Instagram now? No. <laughs> yeah, see ya. This is fun. Okay, he's out of it. Um, no, no, no. All right, so... Um, catch you later, guys. Yeah. Bye. Where's my train? No, I just need to get a bit of a catch-up. How long, how long, long does the camera record for? Um, it should be another five or eight minutes. Eight okay. minutes. Do you just Providing I hit record. Yeah. We'll double check. <laughs> I said there's a red dot, sorry. Uh, oh, it's, oh, nice. All right. Um... I'm going to take my phone out of my pocket because it's... Ooh. Nice, nice recovery. Yeah. Because <laughs> when it vibrates, it's going to vibrate through the mic. Um, all right. So I don't know if you had to read through this, but... No, I hear Kai follows you on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Kai, Kai Man Wong follows Kai me Man on... Wong. That's his name. Yeah, yeah I know. Kai Man Wong follows me on Twitter. Yeah. No, it's a funny name. Yeah. <laughs> wow. it's, a, it's a name. It's a name. Kai Man. Kai Man. Yeah. He's Wong. a Kai Man. It's, it's a perfect name for him. Yeah. yeah. yeah he he follow, follows me on Kai. Twitter. He follows um, you on Twitter. That's a pretty big honor. Well, yeah, I guess so. That's, <laughs> that's a pretty big honor for someone who was part of the biggest photography YouTube channel. Yeah. I guess when you put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking from a yeah. YouTube sphere, I think Kai was cool. definitely like... <laughs> yeah. I'll send him a, I can send him a DM, tell him to watch this if you want. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh there you go. Please watch this. We mentioned you in it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so how, why, why is he following you on Twitter? Uh, well, he did a video a few years ago on uh, how to get full frame on the cheap. Hmm. Um, uh, like, and, but he was talking about in terms of, um, you know, like the money you could spend on a, uh, like a micro four thirds camera you could spend on a full frame film camera yeah yeah. and one of the cameras that he showcased was the Hasselblad X-Pan okay. which um, in some circles I am known for using um, and do you want to tell us tell us in the circles what, what they what do you refer to as the, the X-Pan guy okay the X-Pan guy I thought it was yeah. the X-Pan man oh X-Pan man X-Pan guy <laughs> X-Pan dude photo dude photo dude that X-Pan guy, that guy rich guy <laughs> Like you, you own an expensive camera, they think you're, you're loaded. Uh, That's yeah. accurate. Yeah. I mean, if once, it's the only once upon a time, yeah. once upon a time, I was young and had money that I didn't have to spend on rent and stuff. Uh, so, and then times change. And times change. Yeah. yeah. Life catches Life up. Life catches with up with you. Yeah. Now you just have like an empty apartment and do everything. Yeah. In yeah I just got my camera that I <laughs> stroke yeah. every night. Um. Kai Man Wong. Um, yeah, he did a thing on... He had a video featuring the X-Pan. And I didn't know... I, I knew... I followed them, but I wasn't really watching it. And I think I was playing Borderlands 2 <laughs> on the PS4 or the PS3 at the time. Okay. And I was having a break and I thought, oh, I'll look at my website, <laughs> website stats, because that's what you do when you have a break. And... <laughs> and... Um, there was a massive peak on that day. I'm like, oh, what, what's going on? Something's going on in oh the God. Hasselblad X-Pan world. Yeah. And um, it was, I was getting all these hits from Google, just people searching for Hasselblad X-Pan. Oh, okay. And I just did some searches of my own and, and found their video and had a look. And I, uh, 
I sent them a message on Twitter saying, hey guys, thanks for the hits. <laughs> and um, yeah, he wrote back to me and said, oh, you know, I've been looking at your photos for, for years and really like your expand stuff. And That's incredible. Yeah. There you go. We've been sort of chatting intermittently back and forth since. So. That's very nice. That's very yeah. cute. Yeah. yeah, it's cute. Very a little sweet. love story going on. Yeah. No. I do a little heart thing, but I might drop the mic. No, <laughs> that's okay. I'm going to work out how to do it. Is that a heart? Is that a heart? Yeah, that's a heart. That's, that's a, heart. Yeah. It's a pointy heart. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. And I I have seen your x pan photos. Mm. Um, oh, so you're the person who looks at them. Yes. I'm the one hit. <laughs> the one hit now. The one hit. Yeah. No, I I <laughs> definitely think it's a it's a wonderful tool, and I think the way you approach it is really magnificent. Yeah. Um, Thank you. If and we're going to be doing a video about it, hopefully, if you're down for it, um, after this. And we can talk about more yeah. about it, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, it's, it's like you know, it's nothing you can get normally. Yeah, it's, it's wide. It's wide and it's wide. Yeah. It's the, wide. The lens is wide and it's the wide. format is wide. Is yeah. It like, is it like um, if you stitch like like a couple thirty-five mils yeah. together? Is that yeah. pretty much it? Yeah. yeah. Same. Uh, it's almost a double thirty-five mil width. Almost. Almost. Yeah. Not quite. And I I love how. Like well, you were showing me you were showing me how, uh, well, other story, but yeah. you showed me one of your images that you took uh, mm -hmm. around where we live, yeah. and you showed me the frame and how close you stood, and there yeah. were two people in the frame. Yeah. Um, if you don't mind, I'll maybe put the photo up here yeah. or something like that. Do it. And this photo, this photo here, and you showed me how close you stood yeah. to get these two people in the frame. Yeah. And it is beyond my wildest belief, <laughs> like how close you were. These people would not have thought that you were taking a photo. No, and that's, that's like the beauty of that's it. That's the feel. joy of shooting wide, super wide and ultra wide. It's like people don't know what you're doing. Yeah. 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 So you can I'm, like stand in between people and then like... Well, you, you could do that. Yeah, yeah. but I've, I've stood in front of people and took their photo and afterwards I've like tilted up maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so they <laughs> you know, think like Because the shutter's quite quiet. Yeah. And, um, you know people have got other things on their mind then they're not going to know that you've taken a photo of yeah and I think like we've all been there and sure you don't want to get you don't like the confrontation yeah of, uh, nobody really likes the confrontation of yeah it. I've never had I've never had an issue never never so uh, you've never had uh, anyone come up to you and say don't take my uh, photo not in a like a street photography sense no 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 I've had some bizarre things happen in rural New Zealand taking photos but um, yeah not not ever you're going to ask me what happened now eh? <laughs> no see that's completely different because uh, we do videos on the street yeah actually it was here wasn't it when we did our X100 video yeah um, <clears throat> we were filming um, each other like uh, saying the script yeah. and everything and I was holding the camera was, Alex was talking and I whipped the camera to somebody like an old lady <laughs> yeah. just to like because like it was I don't know she was just walking past and like Alex was like motioning there or something yeah. and then she was like no don't do that <laughs> don't do that and then she kept walking okay and it was just really just awkward it, it was, was very awkward mm -hmm. yeah I think I took a photo of her okay. well, I took a photo yeah, that's right. I took, took a photo, photo of, of the uh, side profile as she walked past yeah. okay and Josh panned yeah and um, we've had a few times where people to yeah. They okay. don't want to be... It's a lot of more confrontation in video. Yeah. <laughs> but also in photography, like, I remember one time I was... Uh, I went to a prelim final at the MCG. It was Hawthorne and Geelong in, like, 2011. And I was at Richmond Station mm -hmm. afterwards, and there are so many people that go to these games. Mm -hmm. And everyone's walking past, and I've got my film camera, and there's a really nice, like, looking towards the G from Richmond Station... Mm -hmm. You get like you can see the the lights of the stadium, yeah, right, and that's a really nice backlight. And so as the people are walking through, I took a snap, yeah, just because this one guy walked into the frame, and I took a photo, and there would have been about fifteen people in the frame, and this one one drunk man came up to me, yeah. and he started having a go at me because I took his photo, and he wanted me to remove it, but I told him it was film, and yeah. I couldn't do that, yeah, and. Believe me, um, if it's one th one person you don't want to anger, it's a drunk man after his team has lost at the footy. Yeah, no. Uh, it didn't go down too well, but uh, I still got the photo. So. Yeah. Well, no. it was one one person out of a big crowd. It was one person out of a big crowd. It doesn't happen all that often. But I think if you haven't had a, any 
bad experiences in street photography. Yeah. Like, I think you must be pretty talented, <laughs> like, to be honest. <laughs> just, or I'm yeah, just really sneaky. sneaky. Yeah. You could be, you could be very sneaky. <laughs> yeah, or I just block it out. Yeah, I so maybe it does happen, you just keep walking. <laughs> yeah, I'm, the people are yelling at me, I'm just walking away. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're talking to me? Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but I've had it, oh, look, I've never had an issue, but I've had other people that I've been out taking photos with have minor confrontations with people. Like, yeah. Just minor stuff. Yeah. But I've never, never had an issue. See, yeah. and maybe you're just a friendly person as well. People yeah. don't... I Well, yeah, that, yeah, well, I smile at people yeah. and make eye contact with them, so I'm not avoiding the the interaction yeah so yeah maybe you should know how to pick them as pick well. your subject yeah exactly. we don't know how to pick them pick your subject we definitely don't know good, how to pick them good, some good advice oh my god yeah drunk <laughs> uh, uh, upset drunk guy at <laughs> Richmond station very questionable probably but not the best subject no not at all oh, oh well. alright I'll get the next one <laughs> unless there's something else you want to say in the meantime yeah no, you're, I'm sure you can think of something I like a shirt where did you, you get your shirt from my girlfriend made it. Oh, you go, your girlfriend made it? Yeah. yeah. She's a, a knitter and a sewer and um, what else does she do? Crochet, all sorts of crafty things. Oh, yeah. She knitted. So she actually made she, that? She sewed, yeah, sewed it from, yeah, we bought the fabric from Spotlight. And, um, the one in Box Hill? <laughs> yeah, well, it's not in Box Hill anymore. It's in Box Hill South Yeah, they've, now. they've closed it. Um, it's been moved. It used to be near KFC. Uh, but it's not there anymore. Oh, KFC's not there anymore. Oh, yeah, KFC's not <laughs> yeah, there anymore either. Yeah. R.I.P. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I, I share that R.I.P. <laughs> you share that one yeah, as well? Yeah, I share that one. Yeah. Now I've got to go like an extra five minutes away. To oh, Doncaster. I know, right? Yeah. Burwood? Such a long way Oh, Doncaster way or Burwood. There yeah. you go. Where's the one in Doncaster? Uh, I can't Don- believe we're talking about KFC. <laughs> yeah, I know. Doncaster Road. Doncaster Road. Doncaster Road. Doncaster Road. Secret. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need KFC. Yeah. We're helping. Yeah. I don't like fried chicken. I love it. What's the next topic? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to talk about, talking about the shirt. Anymore. Yeah, the shirt. Yeah, she made it. Yeah, and she's made uh, three for me. Um, yeah, I've never really been a a bright shirt wearing wearing kind of person, hmm. and so it's been a learning experience. There are people out there that I call um, uh, looky loos. They just get lost in my shirt, like they're staring at it, and I'll turn or something and I'll catch them staring at it and they look up at me awkwardly <laughs> so uh, that's a that's called a, a, a looky a I looky loo a looky loo yeah so can, can you do say this like that? professionally or? no no it's just a hobby looky loo looky loo <laughs> but I've got a Star <laughs> Wars I've got a red one of this which is uh, quite over the top and I've got a Star Wars one as well a and Star the Star Wars, Wars one. one gets a different kind of looky loo <laughs> Is it the, a different crowd? The nerdy, nerdy uh, looky loo. Would you look at that one? Well, I just look at that. Yeah. Honestly. Doesn't <laughs> matter the Star Wars one, <laughs> I've, I've been in line at shops and things, and people have been like, excuse me, where did you get that shirt from? And Or like people are like, oh, you must really like Star Wars. <laughs> I'm like, eh. yeah. <laughs> You're a fanboy. Right. Huh? You're a fanboy. I'm not a fanboy. Not a Star Wars. I think if you're wearing a Star Wars shirt. Yeah, but it's old. It's like old school Star Wars. Old school Star Wars. Yeah, yeah that's that's the that's the. There's cool no Jar. There. There's no Jar Jar Binks on my shirt. Yeah, that's 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 the good Star Wars. Oh, that is old stuff. Yeah, that's old school want. now, isn't it? Yeah. Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, Jar Jar Binks is pretty old school. It's like what early two thousands now. <laughs> I'm looking at Josh because I don't think I've seen all the movies. Yeah, you don't think you've seen all the movies? What? You haven't seen all the movies. <laughs> I've had. Uh, yes. Uh, next topic. Don't worry, I will fix it. <laughs> How do you go through all your life without watching Star Wars? I don't get. I've it. seen a few of them. I haven't seen any of the Lord of the Rings films. And how do you go through all your life without seeing Lord of the Rings? It's easy. <laughs> Off. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather fall asleep. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I don't want to offend anyone. All the New Zealanders. <laughs> yeah. Your attention just went. Yeah. New Zealand. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Sorry. Gone. Sorry, my friends. No, no New Zealand just... is cool. And in the back. There you go. That's how you do it. Yeah. The Hobbit. Yeah. <laughs> just about to clap. Kia ora, New Zealand. Peter Jackson. I was just speaking in New Zealand's native language. What's that? Oh, Maori. 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 Yeah. Maori. Did say something? The Maori no. show. Maori. The Maori show. The Maori show. <laughs> is that what you're talking about? Rick and Morty. Rick and, <laughs> Rick and Morty. What, what have we... What Morty. is it? <laughs> was that the train? Can you do that again? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do my Rick and Morty impression yeah. now? Do that one. Oh, Rick. Oh, you did the Morty. <laughs> I thought you were going to go for the Rick. Bam, pickle, bam. 
Uh, right. Marty, God damn it! Going uh, back in time. <laughs> he has a bit of an accent. And then he burps. Yeah. And then he burps. Can you do the burp? Burp. <laughs> All right. Speaking of burps, um, <laughs> I do know that you have a medium format. And you yes. have. Uh, you shoot thirty-five mil as well. Yes. Um, I would just like to know if there's any uh, any formats, any image formats that you don't shoot. Because I, I I have some intel. You have some intel as well. Oh, yeah, you have mm-hmm. intel. Intel. Yeah. Intel. Yeah. You have intel. I've intel that stuff. You have intel. Have stuff. You have intel that he has a large format camera in his possession. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I have intel. Yeah. That you have a large format camera <laughs> in your possession. <laughs> oh, I didn't hide the fact. In well, fact, we we both have I've intel. I've been doing my best to promote. The nah, camera. you have been. That's how. That's the intel. I'm, that's what Camera Dactyl was paying me to do. Well, this is true. <laughs> Oh, I thought a car was going to come down. And then they hit that pole. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh, my God. <laughs> but tell, tell us more about... Um, I... Well, the story starts with me not using my Mamiya 7 for some time. Just because... I don't know why I just fell out of love with it. And um, I have always wanted to try large format I gave it a try a few years ago uh, with a pinhole large format camera Okay. and I was shooting pinhole which I didn't love and then I was also developing the 4x5 sheets in trays in a dark room which is not a it, it's, it's something everyone should experience once in their lives dealing with these super slippery sheets of plastic in the dark with three trays in front of you <laughs> and shuffling them trying to shuffle them like cards without scratching them is that is that impossible it's not impossible but it's difficult it's difficult yeah i had some uh i may or may not have chucked a small temper tantrum in the dark <laughs> by myself involving some of these sheets of film <laughs> some of them survived <laughs> as much as like you just yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like chemical yeah flip the yeah. flip the uh the sink um oh my god <laughs> oh no, my it wasn't god. that bad no you just like it, it's a, it's a learning it's a learning curve yeah and i've always wanted to get back into large format and uh, a, uh, a gentleman by the name of Ethan Moses on uh, he had he created a camera called the Camera Dactyl, uh, which is a 3D printed large format camera, and that came out midway through last year. Okay. And on a bit of a whim, I he seemed to he knows what he's talking about with cameras, and he knows what he's talking about with 3D printing. Yeah. So I said to him. What is, this, what is the possibility of having a large format camera that's like essentially a point and shoot? It's basic. Hyperfocal focusing. And he said, yes, yeah, definitely possible. Um, for him to make it would be quite costly because he's got to sit down and design it and then manufacture, uh, you know, print it. Yeah. And he said, but there are some out there already. And he gave me a couple of options and I went for one of those options and bought the camera and it turned up and I was not happy with um, how it was manufactured. It had been put together not very well. It had light leaks. Hmm. And so I sent that I sent that back and then um, I get a message from Ethan on Instagram saying, Oh, you know that camera you're asking me about? Well, I've kind of made it. I went, okay. And I already had the lens. I, like, I had a large format lens that I bought for this other camera. Yeah. And um, he said, can you do some measurements for me to make sure the lens fits in the camera and it's the right, uh, I think the, it's the right flange distance. Flange. Uh, flange <laughs> distance. Now that, that's to make sure that you can... Yeah, make sure it, fo- uh, it projects onto the film. Yeah. Oh, and, okay. Like the rear projection is, is right. I'd, I've got no idea. I've, okay. I've, I've got no idea about yeah. these things. There are people flange. out there. It's yeah. a pretty they, funny word. Yeah. Comment below. What's um, a flange? <laughs> flange? Yeah, flange. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, he made me an attachment for this camera that he was building. And um, I have a essentially what is a large format point and shoot camera that is ultra wide angle. So it's equivalent of about 12 millimeters in 35 millimeter terms. Wow. Yeah. Okay. 
Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it's crazy. And are you happy? Do you want me to? Do you want me to pull it out? Oh, whip it out. Oh, please. whip it out, please. Yeah. I bought show and tell. I knew you guys would be into this it. This is my large format. This is my point and shoot oops. camera. This is my camera dactyl. Oh my god. <laughs> So it's completely what 3D is printed. This thing? <laughs> <laughs> what am I looking at? <laughs> yeah. So it's a. Oh, I've lost my knob. So this is completely just made. It's the the lens is obviously yeah. not three D printed, uh, but the the focusing ring and yeah. the body and the uh, the light meter on the top, that's all three um, D printed. It's really cool texture. <laughs> there's no oh. film in it, so there's no risk of. Um, okay. Can we, can we press the shutter? Anything? Uh, well, the little knobs come off the cable oh, oh. there goes my oh, knob so again okay, so right, we'll pick it up later this thing's falling apart <laughs> nah it's not really it looks good well, yeah it's just it might be it might actually be rusted out or broken it's quite old I, you good wait so how, how old is it the camera yeah well the camera's new okay but the lens is old I don't know how old the lens oh, is need, but the right. cable release I, I don't know I put that this is perhaps the strangest ago. and coolest thing I've ever seen yeah. in my life. And the, uh, the viewfinder is from my um, my 35 mil camera, hmm. so you can get an idea of how wide. Does this um, take away from like how you're meant to do large format at all, or is it just? Yeah, well, there'll, be, there'll be people out there who won't won't be uh, yeah. <laughs> pleased with this particular invention. You know, <laughs> they want to have the rise and fall and the the hmm. movements. Yeah, um, but all of that. You know, like, like because I'm shooting so it, wide, yeah. I essentially don't need to focus. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> okay, so Alex is just showing the camera. Uh, yeah. The the the, the, the thing. Cameradactyl OG. The cameradactyl. I don't know what OG stands for. I'm guessing original. it's original gangster. I was still um. I was expecting like you know wings and like a pterodactyl looking like a, yeah. big, like a big well, beak. Yeah. Well, actually, I um, I was on, uh, I was on Instagram this morning with with my camera builder Ethan. We were talking about some things, um, but the the light meter on top has only just arrived. Oh, uh, so you just got? Just it arrived yesterday. Oh wow! And um, he was just helping me uh, with that. So it. Let's just take stuff out. Yeah, you can, yeah. There's no, there's no film in there. You got there's these little things you got to twist, yeah, make them. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Wow. The double dark side. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. I don't know. I've never shot medium large. I've never shot large format camera before. Oh, well, we can what? fix that one day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't bring any before. film for that, so we. Can, no, that's all right. Yeah, I won't okay. be shooting with that today. I, I, the, the fact that you brought this. So does this autofocus? No. It, well, it's it's, it's just no, one focal. It's, it's one. hyper focused. Hyper focus. So, um, you. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You, I, I've got it set to hyperfocal distance, which is about 1.4, 1.31 meters. Okay. So that tells me that if I shoot at f22, everything from about one meter to infinity is going to be in focus. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of focus. Yeah, that is that is. So, yeah. does that mean that you, as a photographer, don't like, uh, say, shallow depth of field? No. <laughs> You don't like it? No, I, I enjoy shooting it. I've got some. I've got a fast lens. It's one of my favourite lenses, and um, yeah, I enjoy. I enjoy shooting with that lens, but. Um, would, you, would you say oh. shallow depth of field has been a like a sort of recent trend, or? No, it's always. I mean, you know, the fast lenses have been around forever. Yeah. But you know, it comes in and out of popularity. Mm. The, the bouquet. Yeah. People. There's all different kinds of bouquet <laughs> that people like. There's swirly and yeah, flowers. And flowers, yeah. <laughs> I don't yep. know the other yep. types. Yeah. But, you know, like it, it, obviously if you want to shoot a portrait of a person, then you want some shallow depth of field. Some blur, yeah. Separate them from the background. Yeah. But if you're shooting, uh, you know, rubbish dumpsters and people in the street, the you don't want that yeah. yeah but it can also look good as well if that's what hey, if that's what you want to do yeah you know there are wide and fast lenses out there you know like a 28 1.8 that's true you know those sorts of lenses they look good you know you can point them at anything and make something look good yeah yeah, yeah. and what are you going to say you're gonna, it looked like you were about to move your mouth 
<laughs> no? No. And no, words no. have to come out as well. Words have to come out when you move <laughs> your mouth. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, I was, yeah, I was going to say, like, yeah, when you, when you have such a wide sort of, like, yeah. depth of field, then yeah. literally you can... You don't like have you to worry about just whip it out, just go, boom. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. that's how I shoot with all of my wide-angle cameras. They're all hyper-focused. You know, the, obviously, I'm not always shooting at f22 because some yeah. of them hyper-focus at smaller apertures. Yeah. So um, when I'm shooting with my Voigtlander 12 millimeter, set it to 5.6. I don't know what. I can't imagine what's on the focusing scale, but it's probably 0.7 of a meter through to infinity. When I set it at That's 5.6. <laughs> That's crazy, 5.6. Yeah. But there's this other thing I don't know about where it, it doesn't, because of the film size, it doesn't matter how out of focus it is or something. I haven't learnt this yet. See, I'm, I'm already out of my depth. Yeah, I look. I'm <laughs> yeah, like I, too. Yeah, like I'm I, I don't know what I'm Holding this, about. I feel like I'm, I feel very inept. I've, well, yeah. it's... it's that's no different to any other camera. No, I know, but it's, it's got a viewfinder, it's got a shutter speed, it's got an aperture, and it's yeah. got a button to make the, the yeah. shutter happen. Yeah. It's just unlike it's anything. Film. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. Yeah, it it's just, unlike anything. That's out it there. just costs like three dollars per shot. Yeah, well, that's like a Polaroid. That's cheaper than a Polaroid. <laughs> it's cheaper than a Polaroid. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheaper than a Polaroid. <laughs> and it'll last longer. Can we title this cheaper than a Polaroid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Large format, cheaper than a Polaroid. <laughs> dude, <laughs> cheaper than a Polaroid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I like it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, because like um, most lenses, like I don't know, just to give you some context. I guess like I don't know if you know this, but like when you focus to infinity, yeah, usually it only goes from like what like eight meters then to infinity or something. Yeah. But yeah. there's always like there's like sections. So like yeah, there's sweet spots. Yeah. Sweet spots. Yeah. So when you get closer, that means the shallow depth of field is mm. it's shallower. Yeah. And the and then there's like compression. I don't mm. know all these things. Like the wider you go. The less it matters what's yeah. in focus. And you said it was a twelve millimeter. Yeah. So like yeah, literally everything. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. The whole anymore. world is in yeah. focus. Yeah. Like someone once said to me, that lens is so wide that I take a photo of the whole world, and I crop just the bit that I want out of it. <laughs> and that and you get that ability with that. And yeah, get, pretty much. Why not? Yeah, like that. The large format, you know, like the other day I took it to the beach, which is a bit creepy, but you know comment below um, <laughs> and I like you, I could make a, a like an Instagram portrait of someone who was some distance away from me hmm. and it would look good it'd be grainy because I'm shooting at 800 ISO yeah but grain is good yeah grain's good sometimes to a certain degree, yeah. Like to blocks. <laughs> and that, that's actually unreal yeah I, I, I've been it's been blowing my mind since I've been scanning these large format ne uh, negs like Wow, there's a lot in there. It's a lot of information. Yeah, like heaps. And has this? Uh, do you think it's like kind of enhanced your photography, or like just like it's given you like a new, almost like a new aspect? Well, I've of always been like nerdy with gear and stuff, so it's like, you know, I'm might turn into one of those people who get obsessed with sharpness and stuff. Worrying yeah. signs. They're yeah. out there. <laughs> They're <laughs> out there. <laughs> They're out there. Oh yeah. And maybe. Maybe yeah, you're, you're, like, you're going over to the actually dark side. Actually, I was talking about that with um, uh, Ethan, camera Mr. Camera Dactyl, this morning. Like, so we're giving, we're giving Camera Dactyl a shout out. Well, we'll give we'll yeah. give Camera Dactyl a shout yeah. out at the end. But um, yeah. <laughs> so. Um. All right. It's gonna be a long one. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. That's okay. what she said. <laughs> oh, jeez. I've never heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we've done most of them. Three D printing. Oh yeah. So. We, we have scrapped our uh, news dumps. I know. And I'm yeah. sad. You're sad? Did you sad. like them? Are you actually sad? Yes. Yeah? Did yeah. you like the news dumps? Yes. Okay. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> I just, just all the, the poo jokes. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, this I knew someone was watching, <laughs> you know? I knew me. someone was going. It was me <laughs> watching 500 <Yeah>. times. <laughs> oh, God. That's on you. Yeah, that's on me. Uh, yeah. No, 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 it's all the poo jokes. Oh, the poo jokes, yeah. Yeah, the dump. Oh, yeah, we're going for a nice a long dump. dump. <laughs> <laughs> That's the longest dump we've ever had. Yeah. Oh, we're going to do lots dump, of little this, shoot, Yeah, short, short and then this dump, it's full of discontinuations. So oh, yeah. That's yeah. That's discontinuation. Yeah, doing discontinuation. Just doing Fuji's dirty yeah, work for them. That's basically <laughs> it. That was like a lot of them. Yeah. Oh, here's another film that's yeah. been cancelled. Here's, yeah. another, here's another discontinuation of Fuji. And it. Only a handful of times we had some positive news. Yeah, like, 
eventually we started just doing non-news. It yeah. was like, what are we even talking about yeah. at this point? Uh, but in in that sense, I did just uh, do some. I wanted to, I wanted to get some news out there or something mm. that's like relevant in uh, mm. today's photography world. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. And you know, in line with the 3D printing mm -hmm. of this camera, yeah. I thought I would segue nicely into the uh, the camera canopy. <laughs> camera canopy. Yes. Ooh. The camera canopy. Have you heard oh of this? I've heard of the camera. Have you heard of the camera canopy? What's the camera canopy? Oh, can I describe it? Yeah. It's a sneeze guard for your camera. You know when you go to a buffet and there's the glass? Oh, really? <laughs> so basically, so basically it's, it's for the rain. It's uh, for the rain. So instead of having a rain sleeve, you know, like a like a poncho for your camera. Yeah, instead of having that, it's basically the camera and then like this triangular roof over the the entire camera. Yeah. And it's so, ugly. And so basically it's literally like the a war, housing. The war, it's literally a housing, yeah. but like this big tri triangular thing that is yeah. just completely unnecessary. It's a roof. It's and a it's making it's making like waves. Really? <laughs> well, I didn't I know, know about it until you told me. <laughs> well, there you go. No, no, I, I've been seeing it. It would make a good wave when I throw it into the <laughs> ocean. <laughs> it would. Yeah. Do you reckon it would float? No. You don't think so? No. Do you reckon? Do you reckon the water would bounce off it? Water you could definitely. <laughs> You could definitely put one on each foot and get towed behind a boat. You could do that, yeah. So alternative uses yeah. for the camera canopy. Oh, yeah, actual uses. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, are they, what are they coming up with these days? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's interesting. Why I mean, I, I've nev rain's never stopped me from using a camera. Yeah. yeah. Do you use an umbrella or a camera canopy? <laughs> <laughs> or just the camera gets wet and then you dry it. I feel like it's a good idea though. You know, just like a little housing yeah. camera. But like it sticks out, like. Really. And it'll stop. It'll stop sneezes getting on your camera yeah, too. So if you want, like, to look like you're using a birdhouse to shoot, then you know, it's probably a good idea. Get birds close to your camera and start feeding them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could use it. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Well, you know, in in northern America, squirrels wouldn't be able to climb onto it because it's so slippery. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You know, they put plastic things that look similar over bird feeders. Ah, so the so squirrels you're, you're tying it into this. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Squirrels climb down the the chain or whatever, and they get to the perspex cover and they slip off. So it's they could slip off. It's so you, hilarious. You wouldn't have a squirrel problem with yeah. the camera canopy. Yeah, just problem solved. Yeah, just do some searches after this video. Do some searches on YouTube for squirrels falling off bird feeders. <laughs> Maybe we can look that it's up. It's hilarious. Well. Yeah. There's another yeah. one that spins yeah. them round. That's even better. But could you apply that to a camera? No. Could. It oh, could you be can, like a, a helicopter. Yeah, or you could have like a um, uh, what's it called? The Lomography had a spinning camera. Oh, sorry. Uh, this one's up. Yeah. Show and tell. And we're back. Oh yeah, I gotta pick up my mic. There, there you right go. Away. There hey. You go. And oh, we're now back. <laughs> now we're back. Yeah, we're back. We're back. Yeah, it's like my uh, clip-on sunglasses. Yeah, I do like them. Yeah. You weren't very. You didn't seem very excited about this clip on sunglasses. Do you want me to <laughs> jump up and do a little dance? Yeah, I love yeah, them, like, Josh. Yeah. It's not happening. You're not yeah. paying me enough to do that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's uh, it's time. Time? Yeah. To ask. It's time. The hard questions. The hard, yeah, the hard-hitting questions. Our disposable... Our disposable video. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Disposables. Yeah. I've got one here. Okay. Hey, which one's that one? That's my... Um, hey, look at this. Listen to that. Yeah, that was that was. That's powering up. Powering up. Is that the, is that the flash? That? Ah, there you go. There you go. camera behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Yeah. Behind the scenes. Can I take a photo of your camera? <laughs> there you go. There you go. I recently saw on your uh, your Twitter feed that um, your MJU2 has died. Yes, RIP MJU2. Um, it's not dead. It just it, there's a thing that happens where they don't focus. Well, they okay. look like they're focusing, but they're not focusing. Okay. Yeah, like our, the, len our, yeah, the lens view. extends all the way out and then comes back in and then it takes the photo. But it hasn't focused. It hasn't focused. But like, is there, is there any bit where it is in focus? Or? Oh yeah, there'll be a point where it is, yeah. but I don't know where that is. <laughs> Maybe it's just like it's really, not really where I, Put it this way, it's not where I it's want it. It's not where you want it, okay. It's not where I want it. Um, and um, yeah, that died sometime late last year. I kind of replaced it with my Fuji medium format camera, my uh, 
Uh, yeah, bring it out. Bring it out. Whip it out. What a segue. Oh, it's even got a bit of 120 paper stuck to it. Looking gonna, through this thing gonna, is amazing. I'm going to litter too because Josh did it. <laughs> wow. What? Oh, you're a bad influence, you, man. I'll pick I'm it up sorry. later, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. uh, <laughs> well, I, um, guys I bought this. I bought the Fuji uh, GA645W to kind of replace the Fuji, uh, the Olympus. The Fuji. The Fuji. <laughs> <laughs> the food. Okay. <laughs> food. Makes me. Um, yeah. But the food. it's probably a bit, a bit big to be a. Oh. Oh. Actually, you want to hear a cool noise? Oh. Are you listening to that? I am. <laughs> it's like a um, like a toy gun. Yeah, it's like a laser. Yeah. yeah. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> um, I bought the I bought this kind of to replace that. Because I um I sold my. Do you want to have a? You've already. I've already played held this that one previously, but Josh can have a go. Um, oh, I bought weird. that essentially to replace the Olympus, but without knowing it. <laughs> I, I, I bought that first, and then the Olympus died, and I thought, well, this is kind of a replacement. Yeah. But I'm in the market for a point-and-shoot camera, and um, yeah, you got to hold it that way to take a horizontal shot. How yeah, crazy what? is that? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, it's, it's six four five. Yeah, this one is rectangular. Yeah. Is it a good film? No. Okay. Sure. Oh yeah, you literally just opened it. I just saw <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, it. Short term memory. It's less. all good. Um, uh, yeah. So I I'm in the market for a point and shoot, and then I've been thinking, you know, how much do I want to spend on a uh, on a point and shoot? And then I I just on a whim I bought a disposable camera, took some photos of it around the place, and I was really happy with the results. Yeah. I thought. Okay, well, if I spent 20 bucks on a point and shoot, then I probably don't need to spend $300 on a point and shoot. Mm. So, yeah, I'm just looking for that Goldilocks camera, the good quality but not too expensive. Is there a, like a happy medium? I don't know, like a middle ground for yeah, that one? I reckon, I reckon high end point and shoots are probably overrated a bit controversial no i think that's a fair, it's a fair <laughs> opinion though like yeah we we definitely shot with well we josh josh found an mju2 in his uh where is it in in your house somewhere yeah my mom's my mom's cupboard it was just buried under like and all the clothes it still yeah, had yeah. a roll of film yeah. in it yeah uh from like 1999 or 2000 some of that yeah it was like early on <laughs> um and so that's we did out we did a video on yeah. on with that one as well yeah. and then something happened to it yeah, I don't know. I think I dropped it one too many times. Because like, it's so small, and I just like always forget that I'm... They're small, they're slippery. Yeah. They jump out of your pocket when you sit down. Exactly. It's just like... Yeah, yeah it's just like... It happens. A, yeah, point and shoot, it's that small. It's just... Forget, and it's it dropped you, out. You get up, and it's just yeah. on the ground. And now it's... Yeah, well, and I, now it's not, bro- it's, it's not working anymore. Well, I dropped mine, obviously, one too many times. Yeah. And, you know, like, I've dropped it heaps, but it never broke. Yeah. Hmm. And then, you know, this one... I do remember dropping it recently and then that must have been the uh, yeah, the last the coup de gras. yeah yeah, yeah. I, I will say shooting with that was fun yeah I liked shooting with it yeah but we've had we have a lot of point and shoots and they all seem to do the same thing mm. like really yep I know like it's a fast lens and yeah that reason people love it yeah. but it was full frame the yeah. prices that you're paying for it though yeah. it's like 300 bucks yeah. and at the, at the end of the day what are we going to do with the photos? We're going to put them on Instagram. We're going to put them on Flickr. RIP Flickr. Does anyone still use Flickr? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah? yeah. 500px as well. Just got hacked the other day. Oh, well, 500px deleted my account because of something that I did. Um, <laughs> That's why. <what? laughs> okay. Didn't see that coming. Okay. <laughs> and um, I can't even remember what I did. I did something they didn't like, so they, they deleted my account. Uh, and no warning just like delete oh there's a warning yeah, yeah. we've deleted your account <laughs> <laughs> that's the warning yeah, you can no longer log in that's right you're, you're, yeah. at least your data would be safe it had there. something to do with a photo up I uploaded which they thought was an ad uh, yeah they thought it was it had text in it so they assumed it was an advertisement or something well you sell out <laughs> yeah I know right yeah. um, but seriously no you be glad that they did that oh yeah like I, I, I replied to their email say Thank you. You saved me ten minutes of going in and deleting my account. Yeah, yeah no, and, and now yeah. everyone's data has been. Oh, have they? They've been. They hacked. literally got hacked. They got hacked late 
2018, but they only released it this week. Oh, nice. <laughs> so <laughs> they did a they, uh, did, they did a Yahoo. They did a Yahoo. So hello hackers, yeah. uh, please don't expose me. <laughs> Nice Let him expose, expose, they expose your email address. Yeah. That'll be the worst thing. Exactly. <laughs> got your email Everyone's address. already done that. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, what's your mum's maiden name? Yeah. <laughs> Date of birth? No. I think I probably exposed that. A yeah, few we already said that. Was yeah. <laughs> oh god. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking for an eye. Oh, you know, and what we were saying, like at the end of the day, you're going to put it on Instagram. The photo's going to be this big. Does it really matter what it was taken on? No. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And so you're enjoying the point and shoots at the moment? I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the disposables. Yeah, um, yeah sorry, disposables, yeah. that's what I meant. Yeah, um, but a friend of mine's been buying me point and shoots from op shops that she goes into. So she's got a small collection of cameras. Okay. And I have to start using them, otherwise she might injure me. <laughs> And how much does she spend on them? Like, I, are they like reasonably five, priced? I think the most she's spent is ten dollars, or something. That's not bad. Yeah. So there's a few. She's got a, there's a couple that she likes and wants to keep. Yeah. But yeah, she's got others, and I've told her, you know, be on the be on the lookout. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, like, I want. Obviously, I want the the five dollar Mew too. <laughs> yeah. They they are out there. They somewhere. are out there. It's just. Yeah. Because everyone knows that they're out there. Everyone yeah. searches for them. Yeah. And then by the time you rock up to the... I really wanted him to drive yeah, down here. through here like a chicane. Yeah, on a, uh, yeah nothing, nothing's happened, man. Yeah. Uh, no, the one lady did walk up and we stopped recording. Mm. <clears throat> but <laughs> that's okay. Now we've got no. some nice light coming through. Yeah. yeah. Then in a second, that sun's going to be hitting us right in the face. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Wish I had my hat. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right. You guys uh, have got hair. You don't have to worry. Uh, I have to get burnt on the head. Yeah. It still happens. I'm going to get more burnt. I just don't get burnt. <laughs> you get burnt. Yeah, that's not bad. Like, what are you, what's I'm this? Neck usually. What's he just gets here? sick yeah. burns. That's not good. <laughs> Your humor is. You two are a match made in heaven for your oh. absolute disgusting humor. Oh, we kind of have two of us there. <laughs> But you do. You maybe you take off. Maybe you take over the channel. I like a pun. You really, uh, I do like a pun. You're punny. They're yeah. pretty punny. They're pretty funny. What are we talking about? Point and shoots. <laughs> point yeah. So yeah, I'm waiting for that. Yeah, I got to get into point and shoots. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just a little everyday carry. Yeah. Kind just of slip thing. in your pocket. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, like the um, the best thing, the best thing I look for at a point and shoot is like the, the small form form factor hmm. so I can take it around. Yeah. Like the one you got me from um Japan was is huge and yeah, it's loud. It's, and it's big. It's, yeah. 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 It's, it's not really, yeah. It's it's hard to carry around. It's a point and shoot, but it's like it's a it's a put in your camera bag and shoot. Yeah, it's like a yeah. you have to actively bring like remember to bring it. Yeah. yeah. It's not a I'm walking out the door. I'm going to grab that. Yeah. Kind of thing. We've Go to had a party, um, you know, put in your which has never happened to me. I spend at least twenty or thirty minutes deciding what camera I'm going to take when I go out. <laughs> every day. No, not every day. <laughs> Just when I'm, you know, going out with the intention to take photos. Yeah. yeah. Do you bring a camera with you everywhere? Yeah. Try to. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's easy with a disposable. Yeah. Just chuck it in my bag and there it is. Because I, like, I know that I I used to bring the XA2 with me places and I really liked shooting with that. Yeah, it's nice. Um, that's a nice little camera and the flash on it's pretty cool as well. Yeah. Um, but then we like we tried. Uh, what else did we try? Pa uh, Pana Polaroid. The Polaroid one. Oh, the Polaroid. Oh, that was a really yeah. cheap okay. Polaroid one. That was really yeah. bad. Yeah, <laughs> it had a the panoramic mode on oh, it. Oh, nice. Yeah, the opticals yeah. on that are really terrible. Yeah, and it, the panoramic mode is literally just like two flaps come down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like it doesn't, that. it doesn't make it wider. It literally, yeah, <laughs> it just, just it's cropping. It gives yeah. the illusion yeah. of wide, yeah. but it's not. But um, yeah, I'm sure there's what we call what's that called in the film biz? A mat? Is it a mat? A mat box. Yeah. Uh, is that a? I don't know. I don't think it really usually okay. crop stuff. Right. But no. it, it does sort of letterbox. Like, letterboxing. That's it. Yeah, letterbox. But we do, we, yeah. It does sort of Josh look like is going to do five. a letterbox effect now. Yeah, this is how you do it. It looks very cinematic. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there you go. You got to wave. Back. No one else saw it, but she waved. <laughs> she waved back. Right, now, so on that note, yeah, we'll I, probably um, close it off soon. Close it off soon. Before we do uh, say our goodbyes and hellos and mm -hmm. uh, and thank yous. Yep. I think uh, if there's anyone that you just want to give a hello to or because we are very much about love here at decaf mm -hmm. and we like to share around the love yep. and um there's a, a few uh yeah, there you go. yeah i'll do that too how do you do it 
Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You got it. I'm doing it. You're as doing well. it too. Yeah. You didn't do it, Trump. Yeah, I did. I did. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yep. Um, anyone you want to just say hello to? Or? Well, I was on the Sunny Sixteen podcast recently, or last, not recently, last year, and I gave a shout out to you guys. Yeah. So I think it's only fair that I give a shout out back. Yep. To the Sunny Sixteen podcast. Of course. Yeah, so you which I'm a quasi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a quasi staff member of. I do their. Oh, I actually got. Um, I got um, promoted recently to web manager, mm. but not, not by not by them, by someone else. By someone else. <laughs> <laughs> I just put up. I put their episodes on their website and um, make funny little uh, episode images for them in Photoshop. Oh, really? Mm. So. So you are okay. Yeah. So hello, Sunny Sixteen. What are the names? Aid, Aid Graham, and Rachel. Aid. And then my fellow. Graham. And then my fellow Sunny Sixteen um, Hobbit. Um, Eric. I hope that's his Wait, name. What? <laughs> Hobbit. <laughs> Hobbit. Well, you know, okay, all right. So there's a podcast, there's a show called QI. Mm-hmm. You know, they used to have Stephen Fry on it. And then the people who write the show, they're called the QI elves. You know, like an elf. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah they call themselves yeah. the elves. And they have their own podcast called uh, No Such Thing as a Fish, where they talk about different funny facts okay oh. so QI there's a QI elves and then there's Sunny 16 and then there's a Sunny 16 uh, hobbits okay yeah. so they're the ones who write it yeah yeah, yeah but the we elves. don't write it <laughs> 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 I'm a bit confused but okay <laughs> I'm writing up a script for an entire podcast yeah how I haven't got his name right. How you I'm having a mental blank. <laughs> <laughs> my fellow, my fellow Hobbit. I'm sorry. Just say your fellow Hobbit. Yeah, my um, fellow well, Hobbit. You can yeah. edit that out. Yeah, mm. yeah. Um, <laughs> and um, camera dactyl. Yeah, camera dactyl. Ethan Moses. Ethan um, Moses is the is my camera dactyl's baby daddy. Baby daddy. And um, baby mom, baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he he, was, he 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 gave birth to it. He did. Essentially, yeah. And, um, yeah, he's a good guy. Uh, yeah, had a chat with him this morning about some things, and I had some issues with the uh, with the light meter, so got them sorted out. So it's all fixed? It's and all fixed. Oh, I just wasn't... I wasn't rough enough with it. You weren't rough enough. Yeah, <laughs> like it's robust. Well, that's very good. Yeah. That's a good thing to have. Yeah, that's especially a good with 3D, something that's 3D printed. I just assumed everything was like... Yeah, you know, that's, tissue, what I, that's what tissue. I expect yeah. as well. It's not. It's rough. No. It's tough. Yeah. yeah. Isn't I the worst feeling when like, you're using somebody else's equipment or something hmm. and you go, you're trying to like, do something, or, like trying to like, lift up a stand or, or like, trying to flick something on and be like, oh, I can't do it. It's like, I think it's a bit stuck. Yeah. And they just, they just grab it out of your hands and they just flick it on. Yeah. The roughest thing ever. Yeah, well, this was, I literally said to him, he said, I, like, I basically, I dare you to break it. And I said, okay, I will, can I break it for you uh, live on Instagram? He's like, yes. And it didn't break. Yeah, just like it's, you just feel so weak in that moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Oh, it actually does like, work. Yeah. I, this is taking all of my strength to uh, attempt to break this. Yeah. Hmm. There you go. So, yeah, camera dactyl, it's difficult to spell, but it's camera. C A M E R A D A C T Y L. He's on uh, pterodactyl. Like, like, pterodactyl. like a pterodactyl. Yeah. Like a camera. On uh, Instagram and Twitter. And Sunny16 is Sunny16. That's a Sunny with a 1 6 <laughs> podcast. And they follow us on yeah. Instagram. Probably. And everyone else who follows me on Instagram and Twitter. Yep. Hello. And you're very prominent on the interweb, so I'm sure there's, there's many of them. There's a few. Yeah? Yeah. 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 I'm not like. I don't know. I'm trying to think of the name of an internet celebrity. Uh, <laughs> not going to say that guy's name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Kim uh, Kardashian? Yeah. <laughs> you are the Kim Kardashian of, of the Melbourne photography okay, scene. Okay, right. Okay, I have to work on my butt. Yeah. 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 Why not? Well, maybe, I mean, like. Maybe I can rest this microphone on it? Yeah. <laughs> you want to try that? No. Uh, okay. Stool, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, when we stop rolling, I'll give it a crack. Okay, we'll put that on the behind the scenes. That's a that's a different channel. Yeah, <laughs> that's a different website. <laughs> um, before we, it's on a different website. <laughs> it's on a different website. It's on a oh, platform two. Well, it was an announcement. Um, before we say goodbye, I just want to. Also, what's your Instagram? Uh, Photo dude nz. So that's F O T O D U D E N Z. Boom. 
That's on it. everything. Yeah. Including the PlayStation Network. Yeah, so we've got a PlayStation <laughs> Yeah, I've got you on PSN. <laughs> I have them on PSN. Yeah. 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 I don't play soccer, so I don't get to play games with them. Borderlands or something? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that was a while ago. <laughs> Red Dead 2 is good at the moment. Oh, yeah, yeah you're going to play yeah. Red Dead 2? I don't want to play Red Dead 2. Ah, FIFA 19. Oh, yeah. That's where it's at. No? Um, I'm not a FIFA guy. Before we head off, I want to give a shout out to uh, Justin Vargas, mm-hmm. who we are uh, we are messaging um, in collaboration with Hip Shoot Film. Oh yeah. Um, which I'm not sure if we should talk about what we're doing for it yet. We sort of. I sort mean, of. Like, which sure is a project. Great. We're just Has doing a, a name? project. Yeah. Is it the yellow icon guy on Twitter? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, he was messaging me yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have a project that we're, we're undertaking is all together. He local? No, London. Oh, right. London, London. And Justin Vargas is in the US. Yeah. Okay. Which so, part of the US? All right. Uh, is it? San Fran? San Fran. Ooh. Uh, San Fran? I can't remember. But, um, okay. yeah, so his Instagram is JustinCases4C. So we'll just pop that, pop that up here. Yeah. Um, Justin Cases. Justin Cases. <laughs> 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 well, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Nice. And Just in cases. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll leave that at that. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's it. I just want to give him a shout out. Uh, okay. to, I like his photography. Yeah. I've been taking a look through his photos. And okay. Yeah. All right. We'll, so ch- we'll check him out. We'll give him a shout out. Yeah. And uh, otherwise, we'll, I think. In, I'll have a look at his photos when we're on a crew break. On all a crew the, all break. the crew look like they're ready for lunch. Yeah, they do. The the buffet is out. The buffet the, is that. Yeah. And these, these socks. <laughs> dumpster buffet. These socks need to be uh they need to be swapped over. Oh, they're they a bit dirty be, now. They I need to put to them be, back on my feet. They <laughs> need to be burnt. <laughs> is this why you're not putting it up to your mouth? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Is that is that purely the reason? <laughs> yeah. Um Yeah. 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 That was, was the first thing I was told when I was a, <laughs> a young man. Don't put another man's dirty socks up to your mouth. Oh, okay. That's, that's, like your, that's the first life lesson you might have Yeah, the first you. life lesson. <laughs> yeah. And then don't touch the oven when it's on. <laughs> and also, don't open the film, uh, the camera when there's film in there. And don't put metal in the microwave. Anyway. Well, you can put metal in the microwave, just not two bits of metal. Not two bits of metal? Really? Yeah, because it's when they oh, are near each other. Yeah. yeah. Give it a try. I thought it was just metal. Yeah, get a yeah. metal cup and a spoon and watch the fireworks. Don't do don't that do at that. home. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. No, don't do that. <laughs> okay. I think we're going to have to... All right, we'll cut it out now. Uh, thank okay. you guys thank for, you for uh, checking in to the uh, DCAF podcast. Thank you to Matthew. We appreciate you uh, for coming on with us. And thank you for ending it before I get burnt. No, that's all right. Yeah, it's coming. It's creeping. Yeah. It's creeping over. Yeah. But um, Actually, it'd be quite cool. At the end of this, you should have like a little sped up version watching the sun come down the wall. A time lapse. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah do it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. And that's it. We'll call it. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. Do you want me to walk away? Uh, oh, we, can all, we can all walk. I'll walk down. Yeah. We can all walk away. We're going to do no, it. We'll, we'll get up and you stay. Okay. I'll stay. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh.